Hi, welcome back to the next video in our spec week. So this is a leg day, as you can tell. Um, and if you don't know what spec training is, go ahead and go back to my video I posted yesterday. That kind of it gives a little overview of what it is. Um, but basically, we are doing the stretch part of it right now. And so we're stretching in that exercise right there for four seconds. Um, and then uh, uh, we will do that for eight to 12 reps. RDLs for the stretch portion is one of my favorite exercises to do on leg day uh, spec training. Because of how well I do feel it in my hamstrings, I think this is a great exercise to do as your stretch. Also, by the end of the set, I was really feeling it in my hamstrings and glutes. Um, with that four seconds to hold each rep, it makes you really feel it. This is a great way if you don't really know how to do mind-muscle connection quite yet, you will because you'll know what is burning. All right, moving on to the next part of spec, which is the peak. Um, and so right here, we're focusing on that peak contraction. And we chose hip thrusts or the booty builder hip thrusts to do that. We have um, four seconds in the peak contraction for each rep. And we'll do that for about eight to 12 reps. And it will burn by the end of it. Um, it is pretty good stuff. We normally do barbell hip thrusts as our hip thrusts, but we thought with spec it would be maybe a good idea or just a good use of the booty builder to be able to do spec um, and do the peak contraction on this one. Um, but since we're not going too heavy because I don't particularly like going heavy on the booty builder, it's just not as comfortable as your hip thrusts, um, I thought it was just a good time to go ahead and use this. All right, moving on to a staple. We are doing the lion leg curl, otherwise known as the prone leg curl. Um, and we did this for the eccentric part of the movement, so letter E. And eccentric is basically the lengthening of the muscle. And we did that for uh, four seconds in each rep. So each time we do one single rep, we will focus on the eccentric part for four seconds. These ones also will burn and feel great at the same time. Uh, I do like doing an eccentric or concentric for the lying leg curls when we do spec. So this is usually one of the go-tos for us. These might seem easy to you, but they are definitely not. The amount of time and attention that you have when you're doing the four seconds in the eccentric part um, will be brutal, especially if you're using the appropriate weight that you're supposed to be using. You don't want to use too light. You don't want to use super heavy weight. Um, but you really want to focus on it and literally everything will burn <laughs> and your sets will feel like they last forever. <laughs> All right, moving on to another staple that we usually do when we are doing spec um, on leg day. We do the leg extensions and this one's kind of like that line, like, oh, like I said, it's great to do eccentric or it's really great to do for the concentric like we're doing in this clip specifically. Um, I just really like that. It really is crazy how much these burn. Um, like you're not doing your heavy weight or anything, but really just manipulating a certain part of the movement. And boy, does it feel, it feels good. It feels great, but it does burn. Um, by the end of your sets, you should be like, goodness, my legs or whatever, my arms, whatever part you're doing. Um, but it is brutal. It's brutally amazing is what it is. Um, and yeah. That'll wrap up this video. It's nice and short. If you did want to catch the other one from Monday, go ahead and do that. It has more details on spec, but if not, have a good rest of your day or night. Thanks for watching.